Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and today with this video I'm here with a tutorial on how to draw portraits using grid. Now many of you have been asking me constantly to make a tutorial on how to draw portraits uh, especially on this picture of Jungkook from BTS. But unfortunately, I didn't record the procedure of drawing this portrait. So for this tutorial, I'll be using a reference of Choi Yeonjun from the group Tomorrow by Together. And if you know, TXT is yet another group under Bikit Music. For time being, the reference idol should not be the main focus. Instead, the main focus must be on the procedure. So without any further ado, let's get started. Wait, I forgot to tell you, I'm doing a giveaway for my subscribers. So one of you will get your portrait drawn for free. So for more details, watch the video till the end. Please, please, please subscribe. So the materials required are a sheet of paper. It's the normal A4 size printing paper that you get from the market. Then a long scale. Then an eraser. Then we got the Dom's color pencils. So these are the colors that I use for my artworks. So it consists of 24 shades and it's just 150. And of course you need a pencil and I guess that's all. Wait. Oh, you need to have a sharpener. You should keep your color pencils sharp when you use them. And that's it. Wait a minute. Wait, I think I forgot to say something important. Mm, where is it? See, even if you have all these fancy and expensive materials, but you don't have what's called patience, then drawing is not for you. So let's see how to draw a grid. A grid means to draw equally spaced horizontal and vertical lines. So you'll use the ruler to plot the points and then draw the lines. Determine the size of the grid. Let's take the measurements. So here I'm going to leave some space for the margin and then measure the rest of the length. So the breadth is 19.5 cm and the length is 28.5 uh, cm. We have the length as 28.5 cm and the breadth as 19.5 cm. Now we'll see how many rows and columns are required for the, you know, grid. So, let's see. Usually I take 1.5 cm squares to build the grid. Uh, you can take 1 cm or 2 cm or 3 cm. It's up to you. You can take any. But here I'm taking 1.5 cm squares to build the grid. Now to get the number of rows, so these are the rows. So to get the number of rows, we will divide the length, that is 28.5 cm, divided by 1.5 cm. This 1.5 cm is the side of this square. The dimension of this little square out here is 1.5 cm into 1.5 cm. So here we will divide the length, divided by 1.5 cm. So the answer is... You can use a calculator and calculate the answer. It will be 19 rows. So here we'll have 19 rows. And now to find the number of columns, we'll divide the breadth or the width divided by 1.5 cm. It will be 13 columns. So here we'll have 13 columns. The smaller the squares, the more accurate will be your drawing, but it depends on how expert you are. Now if you are confused, here I have a formula for you. So, to find the number of squares along the length, that is to find the number of rows. To find the number of rows, what you have to do is the length divided by size of the square, the square box. In this case, it's 28.5 divided by 1.5 and we got the answer as 19. And to find the number of squares along the breadth, that is, to find the number of columns. You have to do this breadth divided by side of the square. Here we have, in this case, 19.5 divided by 1.5, that is 13 cm. Reference, whenever you feel confused. So 
this is my reference picture and I'm gonna make a grid over this picture too. I'm gonna use the app known as Drawing Grid Maker. You'll get it from the Play Store. You can see a grid is formed by default on it. First, we'll make the picture black and white and then tick on the square option so that we get square box grids. And then we'll adjust the number of rows and number of columns. So we had found out that we need 13 rows and 19 columns. So we'll make it as per our requirement. We can change the color of the grid so that the lines are clearly visible. Now we have the grid ready over this picture. Let's save the picture. Now I'm gonna number the boxes using PixArt. You can use any kind of app that allows you to draw our pictures. So I'm numbering the columns 1 to 13 and the rows 1 to 19. So here we have it and I'm gonna save it. Okay, now let's start drawing the grid onto the paper. Two hours later. So I've drawn the vertical lines, now we'll draw the horizontal lines. I hope you guys know how to draw straight lines. I'm saying this because I have seen in the comment boxes where people be like, I don't know how to draw a straight line, teach me how to draw a circle and so on. Yeah, I would say it is difficult to draw a straight line. I remember when I was small, it was difficult for me to draw a straight line. Um, so if there's anyone who doesn't know how to draw it, you can comment below and I'll try to make a video if you want. And yeah, now we have the grid ready. Now we'll start our work. Here I have my reference picture on another phone. So we had numbered the rows and columns of the reference picture. And in a similar way, we will number the rows and columns on the paper too. So I'll be starting from the eye. So you can see the little box that contains the eye. Now we're gonna copy everything that's in the box to the corresponding box that's on the sheet of paper. So to find the corresponding box on the paper, we look at the column number. Column number is the eighth column. The intersection of the seventh row and eighth column is the corresponding box to the eye. So the seventh row and eighth column will mark it there. Mm, yeah. So actually what we are doing is we are breaking down the picture into smaller pieces, smaller boxes so that we can easily draw them onto the paper. See, uh, when we see the picture as a whole, sometimes we are overwhelmed so that especially for beginners, they be like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna draw this? It's so difficult and so on. But when you break down the picture into smaller pieces, you find it easier. How to copy the picture inside the box onto the paper. You can see the upper lid of the eye meets the upper side of the box somewhere at the middle. Take the column on your sheet of paper and mark the middle of the upper side of the box and then try to draw a line there similar to that in the reference picture. Please 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 subscribe. So you can see I'm joining the points and trying to draw the line exactly as it's in the reference picture. See the lower lid starts from somewhat one third of the box. So you try to draw from there, try to copy the shape exactly as in the reference. So now we'll draw the iris and the small dot of light, the reflection on the eye. If you want, you can measure the picture using a ruler, but remember that you have to make the picture, you have to zoom in the picture so that it matches the size of the grid on the paper, and then measure using a ruler. So that's the trick here. Now I'll speed up the process and draw the rest of the picture. shading too and if you want to know how to give depth to your image that is how to shade how to do the shading if you really want a video on this you can comment in the comment section and I'll try to make one for you
have completed the outline and now let's get into coloring. I prefer to erase off the pencil marks before coloring because I don't want the pencil marks to be visible over the colors so I just what I do is I erase the part of the picture that I'm gonna draw next then leaving a slight visible mark so that I can draw over it and then use the color pencils and draw over it then I repeat the same thing I erase off some part then color over it erase some part color over it and so on so I'll start with the lightest shade, that is the skin color or the sandal color. Then I'm using the brown color to give more depth. Few inches late. It's always better to start with the lighter shade and then move on to the darker shades. Because darker shades can be applied on top of lighter shades, there's no problem. But if you try to put lighter color on the darker ones, uh, it won't look good. It's better if you place a sheet of paper underneath your hands so that you don't mess up. It will protect the drawing from being dirty. And if you ask me if there is any particular way to use color pencils, I would say there isn't one. Even I faced this problem when I was a beginner. I was like, how to, you know, I know how to mix those colors and I don't know how to get that shade, how to, you know, uh, get that required texture and all. But as I advanced, it all came to me intuitively. As a tip, I would say you should watch people draw. That is, if you have anyone, any relative or friend nearby who draws, then you, can, you should watch them draw. Or you can watch time lapses on YouTube or Instagram or any other social media. But that's how I learned. I learned by watching time lapses. I would see how they started, how they ended, and all the sequence, you know. So I guess I'm almost done with the face. Now it's time to take a break. One eternity late. So I'm speeding up the process so that you would not be bored. you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. as i said earlier you should watch time lapses you know watching time lapses helps you grasp the procedure it will automatically come to you so i'd say watching someone draw will really help you finally we have completed the portrait <laughs> Please, please, please subscribe. As I said, one of you will get your portrait drawn by me for free. So all you have to do is just follow these three steps. Number one, like and share this video. The more you share, the greater are the chances. Number two, subscribe to my channel and follow my instagram account sri lamy arts don't forget to send a screenshot with your full name to my instagram account and number three comment your full name and instagram id in the comments sections below this video the time duration of the giveaway is as follows i hope you all will participate don't miss the chance